everyone i am dr sandeep in this video we will going to discuss very interesting topic in non parametric statistics yes what will be the topics topic will be the wilcoxon's mast pa test it is also known as wilcoxon's rank test and we can have the two forms of wilcoxon test one is wilcoxon's mast pair test and other one is wilcoxon's rank test sign rank test okay so here in this video we will talk about only the wilcoxon's mast pair test what is all about yes it is uh, under non parametric statistics it comes under non parametric statistics how we can use wilcoxon's test here are the some of the uses some of the applications of wilcoxon's mast pair test yes the it can be equivalent to the pair t test or it can be equivalent to the pair t test it is commonly used to test for a difference between two paired means two types of paired means we are using in that particular situations yes it can be used as a one sample t test where we have only one factors we can uh, analyze the mass wilcoxon mass pair test where we have single factors okay yes it is also alternative to the one sample t test yes you heard about the one sample t test in parametric statistics in non parametric statistics we are using the wilcoxon's mass pair test where we have the only one sample only one factors to see the difference between before and after conditions yes there are some assumptions of wilcoxon's sign wilcoxon's mass pair test yes what are those assumptions first assumption is data must be matched our data should be matched in terms of first we have collected the sample and after what we have collected so we have the matched data second assumption or second requirement will be the dependent variable must be on continuous level what do you mean by continuous continuous means we can divide data in a smaller units or we can distribute the data in a smaller forms that is the continuous yes third one is the paired observations are random and independent paired observations are random and independent what does that means random means each and every samples have equal chance to be selected in the that particular studies and independent means the observation should be independent from the biases and independent from the other factors so we need to care about the these three assumptions while we are applying the wilcoxon's mass pair test yes it is very significant test to use the non parametric studies to know the difference between two pairs okay let's have an example of wilcoxon's mass pair test what will be the example of this yes we have two conditions before conditions and after conditions while we are using the psychotherapy to treat anxiety disorders we test the individuals we test the anxiety level before the psychotherapy we have the one sample and we test the that particular anxiety level of the individuals after the psychotherapy so we have two types of data before psychotherapy and after psychotherapy so we will compare the difference between before and after conditions in those conditions we can apply the wilcoxon's mass pair test so this will be this is all about the wilcoxon's mass pair test so in this video we have understand about the non parametric statistics that is wilcoxon's mass pair 
test or in other terms we can also say that Wilcoxon sign ring test yes uh, so um, uh, this is all about the Wilcoxon sign Wilcoxon's mass pair test thank you thank you my dear students for watching this video